Here's a little devotional I wrote called Wait Upon the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. God's thoughts are not our thoughts, and his ways are not our ways. God has our days numbered and our steps ordered, so it is foolish to be anxious and impatient. God's timing is perfect, and we must learn to wait on him faithfully. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning, more than the watchman for the morning. Psalm 130, verses 5 and 6. We can wait on the Lord by hoping in his promises. God promises, God's promises will never fail because God is faithful. Every word of God proves true. Proverbs 30 verse 5. Waiting on God is knowing that at the proper time, God will act. He has heard your prayer. He has heard your cry. He knows your need. The Lord never slumbers or sleeps or ignores his children, but as a heavenly father, he knows what is best despite what we think is best. God only wants what is best for you, and he works all things together for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose, Romans 8, 28. The problem is that we think we know what's best for us and lack trust that God knows what is best. Trials and tribulations are not God's absence, but they are things to respond to with joy because of what they are producing. They are producing a deeper trust and spiritual maturity for the believer. For the Christian who responds in trust in all things, including suffering, this is working to benefit the believer. If we are steadfast, we will receive, sorry, if we are steadfast in the trial, we will receive a crown of life, James 1, 12. We can only wait well on the Lord when we know his character. We can know his character through the revelation of God's word. That is why David connects waiting on the Lord with hoping in God's word. In Psalm 130, waiting on the Lord leads to contentment and peace of heart in all things. We must not be infants in our faith who complain and throw a tantrum, tantrum when things don't go our way. We must grow into maturity and learn to trust our Heavenly Father. The more you get to know the Heavenly Father, the more you are inclined to trust Him. If you want to wait on God well, get to know God more. Pursue Him with your whole heart, and you will surely find him.